Well, it's the morning. I'm going down to pick the van up. And it is tipping it down. It's forecast for most of the, the morning up in Newcastle, but it clears after York. Ah, sugar. Didn't think it was going to be easy, but a little bit of a break would have been good. Got the inch chilly, so look at those. What could there be? Anyway, what do I do? Right. Been online. My wife sent us a link from work this morning. She doesn't want us going out in this. I don't want to be going when it's like this. It'd just be horrific all the way down. £97.50 gets me to Colchester at half past four in the afternoon. Hey, I leave. I leave Newcastle at 11.30. Conquer fixed it that. So it would cost us probably around 50 odd quid in fuel on the bike. It's a thousand cc and she likes she likes the juice. I'm literally it's saving at the end of the day because I'm probably just going to drive straight home as well because I'm not going to be knackered. So I'll just drive straight back. Get home about midnight-ish. Hopefully. When that saves us on. B and B. B and B and beers. Because I do like the sample. Uh, the fine local. Watering holes when I'm away. However. I don't need to now. I'm just going to shoot home from there. In the first class lounge toilets. Because somebody's just not this flying with me coffee. This went out of me. Right, take the shoe off. The van. It's black. Because black is faster. Say hello. <laughs> Sunday morning. Got the van back here. Early hours of Saturday, I was going to spend the night down there, but because I didn't go on the baby because of the weather in the northeast, I got a train down and picked the van up. Met the guy, asked, that sold it to me. Absolutely couldn't meet a nicer family, to be honest with you. And I knew straight away I was, I was buying a good van just because they were good people. So, you got the keys there? In the porch. The porch. Hold on. Right. So. I keep forgetting even what this is. What is it? What have I bought? Renault Master. Renault Master. And it's a. Uh, CI 120. I'll give you a quick look on the outside. We've got current absolutely blitzing with bicarbonate soda because these were black, weren't they? Yeah, they I can't believe how clean that's come up. That's amazing. That. I've just took these off to steep them because they're like little mesh things. So. One's on, on in the steep at the moment, it's doing great. Oh, it's that. Usual half of torn seat. I'm gonna just get all these cleaned up big time and try and see if we can get somebody to patch that. We'll see. But interior spot on, isn't it? Comfortable yeah. to drive. Apparently even had a shot yesterday and it's about fine, isn't it? Yeah. Still smooth. It's still smooth. Still smooth. <laughs> right. Natural man. Windows are getting tinted next Saturday. It's booked in. We missed them by about 20 minutes yesterday. We've got it. All tyres are good. Reverse some light. Uh, reverse some camera. No, I'm 6'3 and I'm standing up. 
once I put the roof on though, I, I will have to couch a little bit, but that's not a problem. All this is going to be taken out and partitioned it off. Got like a little hatch there, so if you were carrying anything long. But like I say, that's irrelevant talking about that because it's all going to be coming out. See, it's going to come out. I was informed by my pal yesterday that the transit van back seats, uh, I'm sure I'll get a few quid for them. Probably only a few quid, but I'd rather get rid of them than give it to somebody um, that would use them than chuck them in the skip. Got a working toolbar. Got a spotlight on the back, which is going to come in really handy, but I'll need to hook that up to the mains because I don't want to deaden the battery when I'm working late in this van. Lighting doors. Hinges are good. It just it's just a dirty old van at the moment. It's just absolutely going to blitz it, get all this off, all this roof lining off, everything, it's all got to go, going to have like one huge van and then we'll start from there, like I say, the windows are getting tinted next Saturday, looking forward to that, a little bit of privacy while we're working on the drive, uh, what else is there, can't believe how it's come up, because that was absolutely minging, these weren't they? Was it three parts by cob? Tiny bit of vinegar. So by cob, vinegar, hot water, and a bit of washing up liquid. Well, good, isn't it? Happy. Twenty forty. Doing, are you taking the seats out first? I'm just doing the view for the seats, so like I'm talking now, I'm videoing. I can edit like again, <laughs> just show for a minute. Right, we've got the side panelling out. So far, very pleased with the condition behind the panelling. Not that we're going to see it anyway, because it's all going to be covered up again. We're just in the process of getting these seats out as well, and then we're going to get the floor out and we'll see what it's like under there. Give it a right good sweep out. Somebody give the dog a squeaky toy. Of course it's talking. Stella's squeaking. Or a chain. Stella. Put the pig down. No? Alright then. So yeah, things are going well. Everyone's still smiling. I don't think we'll be smiling in about, say, four or five weeks' time when we've got all our horrible stuff to do. We'll see. So the first issue is we can't get this bolt off because we can't get underneath with what's there, so we're going to grind it out. Lobsters again, mate. There we go. My god, the size of it, mate. It's massive, isn't it? For a mid wheel base, it's a big van. Absolutely perfect. We just got the floor to get up, and that'll be it. We just got underneath, ground out like this boat here. So we're going to just hold this up, grind it further down, then it'll drop out. What was underneath, mate? It's the handbrake cable and a cross member and the heat shield for the exhaust. Alright. Alright then. Let's crack on. Right, so obviously getting the flooring up was going to be what's underneath, and it's always a worry, isn't it? So this is what we found when we lifted the flooring up. <laughs> Absolutely immaculate. So that is the van almost completely stripped. Chris is just putting a few bolts in there and we're going to call it a day because we're just non-stop. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? 
What a good day. Go. Perfect first day. <laughs> Perfect. No surprises anywhere. That is one very, very clean barn. Very happy indeed.